don't just play 25 and how important the first serve is in singles. The first serve creates a different mindset for the returner because people are taught to neutralize first serves and get them back, but everyone's taught to attack a second serve or at least put the second serve to their opponent's weaker side. So it's important to get the first serve in to create pressure on your returner and to hopefully your first serve is stronger enough that it forces them to hit the ball a little bit weaker to you. You'll notice the difference in the two points that we showed previously. I'm actually trying to get that backhand to his backhand and I fail. So this gives the returner, the server now has offense on me. He got what he wants. He got a, a return of serve right to his weaker side, to his stronger side. So now he has the option to attack me. So that's the one plus side to getting your first serve in. You force a weaker return and thus you maintain offense in the point. In singles, it's very important to have offense and use your weapon to hurt your point. Now here's a second option. When I miss a first serve, and thus, I have to serve a second serve, and what happens in the return? He attacks me. And so, the second server, the return now has offense, attacks my weaker side, hits a great shot, forcing me to go on defense. His original point, I'm running, just trying to get the ball back. And luckily, I draw an error. But the other thing too is my mindset is to get the ball back. So this is similar to your first serve in theory. If you get the ad to get the first serve in, get the ball back, be calm, you'll be more consistent. And what do I mean by that? Like you try to get your first serve in, you're probably hitting an 8% first serve. On the ground strokes, you'll be hitting an 8% ground stroke and just getting the ball back deep. And that way you'll be calm and you'll be more consistent. That is the one big key in, the turn, in terms of the ground stroking game. Once the rally starts, you get to like a rally mode. Look at this return. I just get the ball back deep with a deep slice. That's a tough shot for anyone to attack. And I get an error. So you make yourself harder to beat because you'll make less errors. It's not just get the ball back, but you have to get the ball back deep. Don't just get the ball back. Miss the first serve and what happens? They'll punish you. So on the previous point that I lost, let's look at it again with a different mindset. The first serve in, Rally mode, get the ball back. How many good shots did my opponent hit to have to win this point? And that attributes to your level of defense. This is a lucky defensive shot. He's got a great return on me. All I'm going to do is block and push the ball deep. As long as you keep the ball deep, you're forcing your opponent to hit good shots. That's a great forehand drive. So it's the second good shot he hit. A tough down the line drive, which I neutralize by just getting the ball back. He hits a winner here, but that's three shots now. That's the third shot, a tough down the line finish. If you can make your opponent hit three good shots to beat you, you're in good shape. Because the odds of him doing that over and over for every point in the course of a match are very slim. The key is on the first serve in and the getting the rally ball, get the ball back theory, is you play at a very calm and controlled rate. You're not exerting enough, too much energy on your ground strokes. You're not exerting a lot of energy on your serve. So your energy level is very calm and cool, which reflects in your mental attitude and your emotional control in the match. Now the first serve in, you still have to make some shots. I got lucky off the return because I forgot to play the weaker side. I hit a first serve to my opponent's stronger side and he hits a great return. And so sometimes, even though you're playing first serve in, you have to be aware of where you're serving the ball. I do a first serve in right into his zone. He 
didn't move, took a little step, nails it down the line, and I hit a good half volley here. And this is just pure luck. I just commit to the line. I guess I anticipate, I'm reading the shoulders, but I'm just going. I'm just assuming going down the line. And I look good because I guessed right, but I could look equally bad if I guessed wrong. But I made a calm, cool decision and I just did it. Okay? And so you have to think about those things when you play. Good serve, wrong place. Weak half volley. He comes in for the finish. Just a guess. And these things, it could go on either way. So it's another reason not miss a first serve besides the things we talked about. Watch the delay at this first serve. I'm not even trying to stall. Ball bounces off the wall. But sometimes players do things to create a delay between your first and your second serve, hoping you get a double fall. They hit, they block the ball into the net and they go and clear the ball. Or they do something where they stop the ball and the ball is off to the left or right and they go get the ball. And they do it very deliberately and slowly and it causes problems for you mentally. So what you got to do as a player is realize when people are stall balls on second serves and just get more first serves in. By getting your first serve in, you totally eliminate the probability. Also on the second serve, I totally direct the ball to the weaker side. I hit a good slice down the line. Oh, but you lost a point. Yes, I lost a point, but tennis is a game of errors and he hit a great shot. And so if you can force your opponent to hit a good shot, remembering can't control the weather, the sun, and your points good shots. You can control your shot selection, your emotions, and your feet, but you can't control the good shots, just let it go. Yes, you lost a point, but tennis is a game of repetition and probability. So assuming that you keep him doing that over and over again, you should have the advantage. First serve in also gives you momentum. If you just knock a first serve in and you win the point, it's, it's a real boost for yourself. Especially if you're playing someone who's like trying to hit like three shots every point to win the point, and you just get first serve in and you win the point. And like first serve in, you can play get the ball back in. So this is an example of the rally ball mode I'm talking about. Watch the clearance of the net. Watch how deep I paint the ball. And I get an error. What am I doing? Am I doing anything with the ball? No, I am hitting it deep though. But I'm giving the ball to his forehand a little bit. It's got me on the run, so I'm just throwing the ball up, trying to recover. Look how far back I play too. I'm actually trying to get the ball to his backhand. But when you're playing this rally ball mode, it, it can be very calming if you just hit the ball back deep, run after the ball, get set, hit the ball back deep, run after the ball. The counter to the get the ball back deep is to come in. And so when you start establishing this kind of rally ball technique, they're probably gonna come in. This is where you have to deviate from your first serve in and rally ball play. This is where you play the percentages in reverse. You tighten up and go for a pass. Same tempo, but tighter. You play a harder shot because if you don't play a harder shot and you play normal, he'll hit a winning volley. So you must go for a harder shot. Going for a harder shot is the high percentage play. Hitting the ball hard and low away from them is the percentage play. If you don't do that, you will lose the point. You're gonna force the issue now come in. And this is the very next point, so he made a quick adjustment. He, not, he decided immediately, after I started growling with him, he's not going to let me do that. He's going to come in. And I just hit a corner shot. It was really high, but I hit pretty hard to the open court. So part of first serve in is just hitting about 8%. How many balls will you miss if you hit only 8%? You won't miss a lot. But you pass at 90. You never swing at 100% because you're going to lose control of your swing. You'll probably hit the ball out. 
So that's the key here. It's about first serve in, rally ball, keeping the ball in play, playing within yourself. That keeps the pressure away because whenever you play within yourself, you're not rushing, you're not excited, you're very calm. Nothing big but very firm. That's the key. Even if it's serving volley play, I'm going first serve in, I'm just getting the ball in. Nothing big. And you want to get the return back, you want to hit firm passes, you want to play within yourself. Oh, in the oui, match. So you stay extremely calm. By playing first serve in, he gets a weak return off of me to his forehand. No pressure on the second serve now because he gets first serve in. Gets a weak return. But now I stay calm, I scatter the ball, and I play a firm shot cross court. Stay calm, make the pass. Not big, just being calm. It also helps the court is really slow. So first serve in, get the ball back deep, force your point to attack you so you don't want to just rally with you. Comes here to pass, go for a 90% passing shot. The first serve in theory works in singles and doubles. It keeps the pressure off of you. You don't have to worry about a double fall. You stay away from your weapons when you get your first serve in. You don't let them attack your serve. But you must serve hard enough that they can't attack it. So maybe you serve 75% and then when that's not hard enough, you go to 85%. You know, you keep upping it a little bit, but you want to hit as hard as you can to get the ball in. Then, as you're doing your first serve in, you apply the ground strokes. Same thing, you hit about 70%, get the ball back deep with spin and slice, clearing the net very high. And if that's not strong enough, you up it to a little bit more, 80%. But you never push it up to 90 to 100, because you'll just be missing. You'll just be making errors. Tennis is a game of errors. First serve in, be calm, get the rally ball going. But you also have to remember, you stay calm, even tempo, even on the pass. The passing shots are when you have to take a little bit of a risk. Playing first serve in, rally ball, and waiting for them to come to net to you and hitting the pass will relax you. And if you're relaxed, you should play better. And if you get short ball, you just hit a decent pass approach shot and come in. So think about how important first serve in is to you. Think about the rally ball thing I talked about and make your opponent beat you. This is the hardest thing for any player to do to make the opponent beat you. And what do I mean by that? Is make them hit a winning shot past you. Make them hit three shots to win the point and let them do that over and over again. Because if they can hit three shots to win the point against you, they deserve to win the point. And the odds are you're not gonna beat them anyway. So, but remember, first serve in, rally ball, even keel, tempo, stay calm. Stay calm.